Hello, and welcome to the new Plan Plus Online. I am Keith Norris here to give you a quick overview. I have been using Plan Plus Online to organize my life for many years now, and I can tell you from personal experience, it works. If you want a system to help you organize, prioritize, and focus on the things that matter most, Plan Plus Online is that system. I'm creating this video from inside an Essentials Edition account. If you have a professional or business edition, you may have some additional options. Let's start with a few key organization principles on the Plan Plus homepage, as indicated by the P icon in the top corner here. First of all, Plan Plus helps you organize your tasks, which you'll see here in the center section. Tasks are things that you need to do or complete and your calendar, which are places you need to be. Plan Plus has two types of tasks that are worth noting. Daily tasks, which are tasks that have a due date, and unscheduled tasks, sometimes referred to as master tasks. These are tasks that do not have a due date. Super productivity tip number one, capture everything. If there's something that you need to do, capture it as a task. If you get in the habit of capturing everything, you can quickly prioritize by dragging and dropping that item into your task list and giving it a proper sequence based on how important that item is. Plan Plus has many great features for helping you stay organized. Let's take a look at some of those features here on the left side of the home page. Plan Plus lets you organize your tasks into list, roles, or goals. So you can create new list, roles, or goals here on the left side. You can also create these inside of the planning tab. These are ways of grouping and organizing your tasks. So if I have a task that is connected to one of my particular roles, I can drag that task and associate it with one of my roles, or I can associate it with one of my lists, or I can associate it with one of my goals. The mini calendar here on the left will help you navigate and look at different days. So if I wanted to look at, if today was the 30th and I want to look at tomorrow, I, I can click on the 31st and I can see if I have any tasks scheduled for that day. Let's take a quick look at some of the drag and drop features from the Plan Plus homepage. First of all, I can drag to change the priority of the tasks in my task list. I can also drag a task to a different day and postpone it by moving it onto my mini calendar here. Or if there's something that I want to move onto my unscheduled list, I can drag it over to my unscheduled list as well. And that would move it off of my daily task list. The idea of a daily task list are these are things that you need to do today. I can also drag a task to my calendar to block time out on my calendar to complete that task. I can drag to change the duration of an appointment, or I can also drag to change the time, the start time of an appointment as well. Plan Plus uses the ABC123 prioritization system. Let's take a look at some of the planning features behind the new planning tab. Planning tab has recently been reorganized. We've got the vision board, purpose, weekly planning, and daily planning. So let's take a look at the vision board. The vision board is a summary of some of these other elements. So if this, if this is a brand new account for you, you probably won't see too much in this vision board area until you go into the my purpose area. So in the my purpose area, you've got four blocks here. And inside this first block is where you can create your personal mission statement or find your why, the reason, the things that are most important that, that you're most passionate about. Create yourself a mission statement and, and save that inside your Plan Plus account. You can also identify your core values. So we have a list of core values here. You could also create some custom core values. If you, so if you don't see the core value in our list, you can add your own up here as well. Roles. Roles. These are all of the different life areas or different roles that you have you can create your new roles here so that you can use those in the weekly planning area. And then of course, what do you want to achieve? These are your goals. If you want to set some goals, you can do that here. I have one goal in here so far to run a marathon. So once I've completed those in the purpose area, then those elements are going to show up in the vision board and in the weekly planning. Let's take a quick look at the new weekly planning. So from the planning tab, I'm in weekly planning. I have my roles here. 
So my rolls are all listed. I can move my rolls up and down. My rolls still have the big rocks associated with them. I can add a new answer to the question, what's the most important thing to do this week? I can type in here. It shows up underneath my roll. And then I can drag those rolls over into my calendar and block out the time to achieve those things. If it's something that I need to do as a task on a certain day, not at a specific time, then I can drag it over to my calendar and then I can go ahead and do my planning from the weekly planning area. One thing to note is we now have the ability inside these roles to set a category or a color associated with the appointment. So when you drag these to your calendar, they will have the same calendar that you've indicated here. So if I drag this over to my calendar, it will have the same color that is designated here. So in weekly planning, you now have the goals tab right here next to role. So any of the goals that you've identified will show up here. You can do the same thing with your goal steps. You can add new goal steps in. You can mark a goal as complete. There's a fun little confetti explosion when you create that goal. And you can add additional goal steps in here. And you can also drag those goal steps as tasks or as appointments to your calendar. So this is a great planning skill called time blocking to block out the things that are most important. And then the third step here of your weekly planning are your where you have the opportunity to schedule your unscheduled tasks. You can take any of those. If any of those are something that you want to do in the current week, you can schedule those over as a task or as an appointment. Okay, I hope this quick introduction gives you a good start with Plan Plus Online. There are a few additional resources I want to point you toward. The preferences area in the top right corner is where you can configure many of your personal settings, such as your time zone and your default calendar settings, as well as reminders and alerts. The setup wizard is where you can configure additional users or your sync connectors if you want to sync with Google or 365. And we also recommend that you set up the auto login feature. So for setting up quick access, there's a little video on that as well. We have help and training located inside the app. So you can search for a topic if you have a question on it and there's in-app help. You can also contact our support team by submitting a, a case or a ticket. And you can also watch our webinars or videos. We highly recommend that you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on the latest videos and training available for Plan Plus Online. We sincerely hope that you can live your best life and accomplish all of your personal and professional goals. Welcome to Plan Plus Online.